So here's another comparison with Benghazi and what happened in Parkland. You've got the leader, this sheriff, this Scott Israel, who is an absolute disgrace to anyone that wants to call himself a leader. He said that he provided amazing leadership through all this. It reminds me of the State Department that somehow wanted to shirk its responsibility for everything that went down in Benghazi. I want to roll a soundbite from Sheriff Scott Israel and then get your response from it. So let's roll that. As I said, I'm, I'm the sheriff. My name's on the door. The people responsible are the ones who took the calls and didn't follow up on them, as it was with the FBI, uh, as it was with, with, any, with any person. Leaders, cannot, leaders are responsible for the agency, but leaders are not are responsible for a person. Uh, I gave him a gun. I gave him a badge. I gave him the training. If he didn't have the heart to go in, that's not my responsibility. It sounds like Hillary wow. Clinton. What difference does it make? This is what liberal leadership gets you. No responsibility, no accountability. We've got people dead from Benghazi. We've got people dead at, at Parkland. And liberal leadership is at the height of all of it. There's something a great leader told me, it, well, he said, and it was a general Stanley McChrystal. He said, the success or failure of any mission falls on the highest chain of command. When there's a failure within your department, it comes up to him. With him ta taking responsibility, he's not a leader at all. He's a coward. He is a complete coward. And obviously, he didn't give him good enough training or good enough backing or good enough leadership to have the confidence to say, you know what? We have to sacrifice ourselves. At times, you're a sheriff. People are in danger. You go towards the fight. You know, if he couldn't do that, then he needs to step down. He doesn't need to step down. He just needs to resign or they need to fire him. Get him out of there. I have, did not see that soundbite. When I watched that, that pisses me off because I see a coward right there. That's what I see. He's letting his men and women that work for him hang out to dry. You know what yeah. that's like. Yes, yes, definitely do. And when you don't have the backing of your teammates, you don't have the backing of your leadership, you are going to have that tendency to shirk away instead of go forward. You have to have some intestinal fortitude. And he, he didn't drive any intestinal fortitude into his sheriffs because he didn't have it himself just by that, uh, by that little soundbite you gave me. I can tell he has no intestinal fortitude or courage at all.